Doppler interrogation of the fetal middle cerebral artery. Is done for two purposes. The first purpose is to measure the speed of blood flow through the middle cerebral artery. This is used for surveillance of RH and other types of isoimmunization. It's also used for surveillance of a fetus exposed to parvovirus. And in general, used for any situation in which there is suspicion of fetal anemia. MCA Dopplers are not reliable after about 35 weeks of gestation or after an intrauterine transfusion has been given. Blood flow is measured during the peak of systole, and faster flow correlates with lower hemoglobin or anemia. This is a cross section through the inferior portion of the fetal skull. And this is the circle of Willis. This is anterior. This is posterior. This is the middle cerebral artery. This is the anterior cerebral artery. And this is the posterior cerebral artery. So the measurement of the middle cerebral artery is performed here with color Doppler or power Doppler. The image is obtained, or say the proximal middle cerebral artery is enlarged to occupy more than 50% of the image and is sampled about 2 millimeters after its origin from the internal carotid artery. The angle of the ultrasound beam and the direction of blood flow should be 0 degrees to allow the most accurate measurement possible. The image above sampling is performed here results in a readout that looks like this This represents systole, and this represents diastolic flow in the middle cerebral artery. What gets measured is the peak systolic velocity, which is represented by the peaks here, and here, and here. The risk of anemia is highest in fetuses with a peak systolic velocity of 1 times the multiple, 1.5 multiples of the median or higher. A multiple of the median is a measure of how far an individual test result deviates from the median. Multiples of the median, median is a commonly used method to report the results of tests where the results of individual tests can be highly variable. The second purpose of middle cerebral artery Doppler is to evaluate fetal well-being. Fetuses who are compromised will demonstrate shunting of blood to vital organs, such as the brain, 
other organs include the kidneys as well. Increased blood flow to the brain is demonstrated by increased blood flow to the middle cerebral artery or decreased resistance to blood flow in the middle cerebral artery. A normal waveform looks much like the one I just drew. where there's high resistance to blood flow in diastole. An abnormal waveform shows increased blood flow to the middle cerebral artery during diastolic blood flow. So as here, this is systole, that's the peak systolic velocity, here's diastole. There's increased, or there's uh, increased resistance to blood flow in diastole in this waveform as compared to here. Again, if this is systole and this is diastole, there's much more blood flow here. And this is interpreted as decreased resistance to blood flow in the middle cerebral artery. And this indicates a compromised fetus. This fetus is shunting blood to its brains and other vital organs uh, in order to conserve energy. You'll remember that in um, umbilical artery dopplers, increased resistance indicates placental dysfunction, whereas in middle cerebral artery dopplers, increased resistance indicates a well fetus. The method for measuring middle cerebral artery dopplers to evaluate fetal well-being is the same as that for measuring peak systolic velocity. You can calculate this not by peak systolic velocity, but you can calculate this SD ratio, which is commonly done, a pulsatility index, or a resistivity index. Pulsatility index is calculated this way. Peak systolic velocity minus the end diastolic velocity divided by the average velocity. The resistivity index or resistive index is calculated by the peak systolic velocity minus the end diastolic velocity divided by the peak systolic velocity. So to summarize, evaluation of MCA or middle cerebral artery dopplers in the fetus is done for two reasons. Number one, to evaluate for fetal anemia. And number two, to evaluate fetal well-being.